Well, the big international headline is the report of fresh cases coming from China. 49 new cases have been reported in the Chinese mainland on Sunday, of which 39 were domestically transmitted, 10 came from outside. Chinese capital city Beijing has reported 36 of these 39 domestic cases. For more, let's go across to senior journalist Shamim Zakaria, who joins me from Beijing. Mr. Zakaria, how worried are Chinese authorities about these new cases and what's the situation currently in Beijing? Uh, hi, Sonia. Thank you for having me on Andy TV. Well, at the moment, of course, uh, at the time when uh, uh, all the Beijing dwellers, including me, because I have been Beijing, Beijing for quite some time now, mm -hmm. when we were thinking that we had already won this war and this has the the virus outbreak had completely waned, mm -hmm. but this fresh resurgence of cases is a bit worrisome factor. But the, I must say this, that the authorities are on a war footing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the, some of the measures like constant temperature monitoring and closed off management, which were previously enforced, are still in place. Right. And because that uh, particular uh, outbreak or cluster infection that you just mentioned mm -hmm. happened in, a, in another kind of district, so only that district on, and the adjoining areas have been uh, particularly affected. Okay. So they have completely shut down the parks and public places and also the market from mm -hmm. where these cases emerge, they have completely shut that down. Uh, but speaking of other parts of Beijing, things are, uh, life is playing uh, quite normally. Even uh, just before some time, I returned back from my office here. Mm -hmm. And of course, there was the, uh, on the subway and other public places, there is this thermal detection of temperature and there is something called the QR code, code where, where they uh, kind of, you know, check the, uh, right. Check that. Have you so that's left interesting, Mr. Beijing? Zakaria. So you're saying sure. that right now the the outbreak seems pretty much con uh, contained to that area where the I think the markets were and the neighborhoods around that. But of course, we've seen that it spooked the global markets, the Asia markets. I'm sorry as well. But reports also coming in of a vaccine uh, from China uh, showing encouraging results. What do you know on that? Well, uh, sorry, uh, because I'm not an expert on the vaccine or the medical sector, so I would refrain from commenting that. But However, just as a normal news follower, I would like to say that there is no such news. Of course, there have been uh, experimentations and research and developments going on, but no such declaration has been made by the state council or the state uh, disease prevention and control uh, authorities as of now. Right, and, and you're right that it's actually better to wait for any official word because every day some new vaccine is being announced and uh, trials which show success. But also the impact on the markets. You pointed out that the rest of Beijing and China functioning normally. We know factories, etc. are opening again. But this has spooked markets as well. Any insight on that? Well, the markets in Beijing, of course, at the uh, at the onset of the outbreak and when this thing, this mm. thing uh, you know, uh, uh, broke out uh, right in January, it kind of affected employment and it also a lot of people also lost jobs. But right now, I think that impact has completely been waned and that has been cushioned now. Mm -hmm. And also recently, you might be aware that Chinese government launched the launch, uh, you know, started giving out coupons so that so that people can spend more. And that in turn, uh, that in turn helps the economy to rebound. So those kind of measures have been implemented. And also, I think particularly right. the sectors like the entertainment sector or the recreational sector was particularly affected. And even now that right. sector is yet to reopen because mm -hmm. the movie theaters or the private theaters are still now closed. But as in Absolutely. terms of factories, yeah, factories and production, it is resuming. People are going back to the uh, going back to work and, and yeah, things are uh, restoring to normalcy uh, right now. Right, Mr. Zakaria, thanks so much uh, for joining us from Beijing and keeping us updated. Well, that global correction uh, across markets